Hey, it's Tyler Jeffco with Seller Accountant. And Stephen asked me to make this video in response to Bill Edelman's questions about, hey, where do I go in Seller Central to get the information I need to file my taxes? Where are the tax documents? And in particular, Bill asked, where do I find the beginning and ending inventory data that's really as accurate as I can as I can hope it is within Amazon? And then what do I need to give to my tax guy? So by the way, seller accountant does not do taxes, but because we're bookkeeping folks for a whole bunch of the sellers that are out there, uh, getting this data is crucial for us. So let me show you, try to save you some headache um, and just let you see what I have here. So if you're on your Seller Central homepage and you just hover over reports, there's actually a tax document library report that's about two thirds of the way down. And at some point in the month of January, it's about a weekend or so, Amazon will, will release the official 1099K. And this is, if you're, gonna, if you're not gonna do any bookkeeping, if you're gonna keep it as simple as possible, I'm just going to give uh, my CPA team uh, the, the bare minimum in terms of documentation. You can really just download this 1099K once it becomes available for the year 2021. You'll download it um, and you'll you'll give it to your CPA. Now, I want to make a point here because this is different. This is for income taxes. If you're if, if the question bill is related to sales tax, then that settings area is actually over here. If you hover over settings and go to tax settings, in this uh, in this area, this tax settings area is where you can find information related to any. Um, states that you might be filing sales tax in. I don't believe that was the spirit of his question. I think it was related to income taxes. That's the first place I would go. The second place I would look at here is if you hover over your reports and go to the payments area. Um, and by the way, this is something I want to make a real quick point here. The business reports area. So if I hover over reports and go to business reports, right, this is where you can get those, your kind of dashboard. This is not a great place to get your annual sales on Amazon because this data is flowing through the orders API on Seller Central and is optimized around putting a label on a box and shipping it. This is not the most accurate data related to refunds and related to the actual financial performance. So instead, you want to go to the payments area of Seller Central. And this is going to be uh, really the, the gospel, the really the most accurate data. Yeah, it's funny, you actually kind of notice here, Amazon has an alert up here at the top of the screen for me. And what they're telling us is that if I go to date range report here and I select, <clears throat> excuse me, generate report and I do the transaction level date range report. That's called the UTR, the Unified Transaction Report. That report is the most accurate pile of data within all of Amazon. And that's the report that at Seller Accountant, we use as, as our true up, as our most accurate journal. The problem is, is that it's incredibly detailed. And so if you're gonna use um, QuickBooks Online or Xero, or you're gonna have a team like mine do the books for you, this is gospel. This is the most investor grade set of information is in this date range report. But if you're not going to do the books and you just wanted more of a summation for your accounting uh, team that's doing your taxes, again, I would probably just go to reports, go to the tax document library and grab that 1099K. So there's that part of it. Now, the other question that Bill had was related to how do I understand? I want to give them beginning inventory and ending inventory. Let me talk to you about where to find it within Seller Central. I'm going to give you the limitations. So first of all, if I go back over reports, go to the fulfillment reports here, and I uh, kind of expand the show more on the inventory side here. I think the easiest report to uh, manipulate here is this one called the inventory reconciliation report. I'm going to go ahead and grab it as a download and it's going to look like this. Let me switch the screen here. So I've uh, covered up my, my, my client SKUs here to protect the innocent. But what's really cool about this is, is if you select your date range, and by the way, what you're going to do is you're going to select the date range that starts, um, you know, January 1st, right? You'll notice, by the way, that if you go to exact dates, uh, this, this report will let you specific, uh, specifically select a date uh, as long as it's in the last 30 days. And then you're limited to just doing the first of each month. So you'll literally go back to January 1. That's going to be the same as the, as the 12, 31, 20. And you're going to get the completed year. You're going to download the report as a CSV. And then this is really cool because it's going to give you, here is my beginning quantity for this SKU. So for, you know, ASIN, BO7QX, whatever the rest of this one is, I started with 1,377 units. My ending quantity was 12,000 and change. I had this many that I received during the course of the year. I sold 41,000. So this gives me a nice summary of what has happened with this SKU. And then if I just were to, I'm using Excel here. So if I just insert a column and put, um, 
skew cogs or skew value, right? This could be where if I, if this particular skew is worth uh, $5 or $4.98, I don't really know what he paid for it. I can then calculate what I estimate my beginning inventory to be and what I estimate my ending inventory to be, uh, to be based on this data. So um, another really easy report, again, there's a more dialed in way to do this if you're going to hire a team like mine. And one thing I want to caution you with is that the information that's warehoused in Amazon's FBA reports is only the stuff that's in Amazon, right? So if you have a 3PL, if you have a product that's on the water in transit coming from China, if you have stuff sitting in your garage or in your own native warehouse, this data set here isn't going to give you all of the inventory and you're going to need to go to those other reports to create the full picture of where your inventory is. But Bill, if you were just looking for where to find it within Seller Central, again, I'm going to go to the tax reports area to get the tax stuff unless I'm building a full accounting system, in which case I might go to the payments report and get that UTR, Unified Transaction Report. And then when it comes to ending inventory, I just personally really like going to reports, fulfillment, and then go ahead and get this inventory reconciliation report. Go ahead and download it as a CSV so that I can manipulate it and add my cost per unit. Um, and so, Bill, I hope this answers your question. Stephen, thanks for letting me record this video. Guys, good luck as we navigate the rest of Q4 and get ready to file our taxes for the year. Take care.